Hi everybody, it's Maggie from the Hands On House. I'm so glad that you found me here. I am here at my home, I'm being safe and healthy, just like I know you are at your home being safe and healthy, but I'm glad that we can still be together. And I wanted to show you what I brought home with me to my house. I brought my story stretcher bag. And of course I brought my books because you know how much I love to read. So I was hoping that I could share a story stretcher book with you from your home, from my home. Pretty cool, right? Take a look. I have a very special story. It's another old favorite. It is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And inside my story stretcher bag, I have... Beautiful butterfly. Take a look at this butterfly. I bet that you see lots of butterflies outside in the spring and the summertime, and it is just getting to be springtime, and soon we are going to be seeing more and more butterflies. And so I would love to share the story of the very hungry caterpillar with you and talk for a few minutes about the life cycle of a butterfly. So I have this really cool puzzle here that I would like to share with you to talk about all of the changes that go through in a butterfly's life for the life cycle of a butterfly. So did you know that a butterfly begins its life as a caterpillar? So those little fuzzy insects that you see crawling around on leaves and trees outside are actually going to turn into butterflies. So a caterpillar's life begins as an egg. And I have a little puzzle piece of an egg that's going to fit into right here. And a caterpillar's eggs are really, really teeny tiny. They are smaller than the head of a pin, but they are always laid on a leaf that the mom lays for the caterpillar. So the mom, cat, the mom lays the caterpillar eggs on a leaf and when the caterpillars are ready to hatch out from their eggs, they actually nibble through their eggs onto the leaf and then they start to eat the leaf that they are laying on. So I have another little puzzle piece of an egg and a little caterpillar that is emerging from the egg and he'll go right here because he is on the leaf and he is eating the leaf in order to get bigger and bigger and stronger. And a caterpillar has really strong jaws that allow them to eat lots of leaves and fill up their bellies until they become full grown caterpillars. And take a look, and I bet you've seen these outside. This is a fuzzy caterpillar and they can be found on leaves, they can be found on the grass, this one is gonna be on his leaf and he is going to be munching these leaves in order to get bigger and bigger. After the caterpillar becomes fully mature or grown as big as it can be, it then will climb up a tree and it will hang itself from a leaf in order to form a chrysalis. A chrysalis is a really big word that is used um, to describe the place where the caterpillar goes into in order to make a really, really big change. And a chrysalis is made up of thread. So this caterpillar will climb up to here, he will hang from here, and he will spin himself. And he will spin himself full of thread and wind himself all the way up, and then his chrysalis will become hard. Hard like a cocoon, like we'll see in our story today. And the chrysalis and the caterpillar will stay inside of its chrysalis until it emerges and is ready to emerge as a beautiful butterfly. And our butterfly is the last piece of the puzzle that we will put right here hanging. And so that is the stage of a butterfly. A butterfly begins as an egg and then it comes out of its egg as a little caterpillar and it will eat and eat and eat until it is a fully grown caterpillar and then the caterpillar will climb up the tree and form a chrysalis and inside of its chrysalis it will transform into a beautiful butterfly 
And now I'd like to share the story of the very hungry caterpillar with you. It is written and illustrated by Eric Carle, which means he writes the words and draws the pictures of the very hungry caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg laid on a leaf. And you can see it right there on that leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through, can you take a look at that picture? What do we see there? One apple? He ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, take a look at all of this food he's going to eat through. He ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. And that night, he had a stomach ache. <clears throat> the next day was Sunday again. And then the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a chrysalis around himself, and he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in this cocoon. He pushed his way out, and he became a beautiful butterfly. The end. Thanks for sharing the story with me today. I hope to see you again soon at the Hands-On House. Bye.